Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build your SMMA website in five minutes or less. Hey everybody, David Shelley's back here again with Two Guys Build a Biz on YouTube, the best place on YouTube for anything related to starting, growing, or scaling your SMMA or business online. If those topics are relevant to you, why not hit subscribe to hang out with us in the future? And don't forget to tap bell notifications to be alerted the next time that we post a free piece of valuable content, just like this one. We do have one request, and that is if you find this video valuable, why not hit the like button? It really helps out the channel a lot, and it tells YouTube that this is a valuable piece of content for your fellow entrepreneurs. It'll help them discover it and help them out on their own journey as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can create your own social media marketing agency website in five minutes or less. We're gonna give you a template to use that you can one click install into ClickFunnels and it's gonna get you on your way and building your website in no time at all. The setting up and the housekeeping around organizing your agency from the start is some of the least fun stuff, but the best part is that you only have to do it one time. Once you're through this, you'll be well on your way. You'll have a legitimate place on the internet where your agency and your brand can live and you can go start approaching clients and closing your first deals. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can actually use the link in the description down below to start a ClickFunnels free trial and one-click install the template into ClickFunnels for yourself. We're gonna talk about customizing the design and get your own agency logo and your client logos on there. We're gonna update the text together. We're gonna to update some images to make it look fresh. We're gonna have a nice seamless calendar booking link in there. I'm gonna show you how to optimize for SEO really quick. We'll make sure all your funnel settings are in spec and you'll be able to turn this thing live. So let's go ahead and start the clock and we'll get rocking and rolling. All right guys, so welcome to my computer. What you're gonna do first is go down to the description down below and you're gonna grab that link. You're gonna copy that into your browser and it is gonna go ahead and install it into your ClickFunnels account. You're gonna go ahead and click add funnel and it's gonna go ahead and add it into your own ClickFunnels account. If you don't already have ClickFunnels, it'll prompt you for a 14 day free trial. So you can go ahead and get signed up and get rocking and rolling. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and open up that funnel and it's gonna look just like this. Where we're gonna wanna go from there is to edit page. ClickFunnels is an awesome way to get started with funnel building and it can be a really economical way of building funnels and websites for your agency. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is swap out the logos. So up in the top left here, you'll see that we have a placeholder logo. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll come over here to this little image icon and we'll go ahead and click upload. So what we can go ahead and do is grab all of the relevant images that we wanna add to the site at some point and upload them. All right, so for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna pretend that our agency is called PlayStation and our clients are called Spotify. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that PlayStation logo for our agency. All right, so now that we have our PlayStation agency logo in the top left, let's go ahead and swap out the same for our clients. Now I've got four placeholders here, but let's say you only have two agency clients currently, you don't have four, all you'll do is go to add new row and you can select the number of clients that you're currently working with. Let's say it's two and we can add in a image element here where we can go ahead and swap that out for our client name. Okay. Uh, but I'm just going to pretend for the sake of this training that we have four. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap out these logos. Now we're done with the client logos. Looking good. Next, I'm going to come down to the bottom here and I'm just going to swap out this placeholder image on the bottom for our PlayStation agency logo. Okay, cool. Things are looking good. The next thing that we can go ahead and do is customize our text. So what we want to make sure that we do is that all of our hero headlines match our audience and that the descriptive text that we use on the site talks to our audience as well. So when we were first getting started, we worked with a lot of small businesses. So we used, we help small business grow. So let's go ahead and swap that out. Well, let's say you were working with fitness studios. You could say we help fitness studios grow. Or if you work with plumbers, you could say we help plumbers grow their business, whatever it is that you wanna do. The next thing that we wanna do is update this placeholder text. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and say PlayStation has a core focus in working with, and let's say we work with dentists using proven methods, we deliver impeccable services, results in business growth for our clients ready to learn more. You go ahead and swap this out, customize it to talk directly to your audience. Next thing that you can change is this grow my business button. Maybe you want to have it say skill my business or book an appointment or request an overview or request a consultation. You can go ahead and click into it and you'll change that text here. By default, this action is set to open the pop-up, which looks just like this. And when you view this, it's going to go ahead and have an actual calendar link where they can book a demo or book an overview call with you and your agency. We'll get to that in a second. The next thing that we want to go ahead do here is expand a little bit further on what it is that our agency does and our background and expertise. This is a great place where we can talk about the focus of our agency, even if we don't have any prior experience. So you can go ahead and clean up this copy and turn it into whatever you want, talking directly to your audience. You can see here that we've got a dental image, so super relevant to the types of people that we'd be working with. But let's pretend that we were working with small businesses. We'd go ahead and pick an image that is more relevant to the audience. So what I like to do is use a site called Pexels. If we search for small business, it's going to pull up all sorts of different relevant images for that type of business. When our potential clients come to this website, they're going to see this and it's going to be really relevant to them and it's going to resonate and empathize with them. So let's say we like this one right here, this man and woman in what looks like a small business setting. We go ahead 
download it for free, and it's gonna go ahead and download into our browser. We can then come over here, upload it into our images, grab that, and place it into the site. The next thing that we wanna do is talk more about the services that we provide. If you're curious what services you should provide for your agency, I'll link to another video in the description down below. But if you wanna hear how to start, grow, scale, and actually fulfill services to keep your clients around and paying 10 to $15,000 every single month, the best place to learn more about that is the SMA Blueprint. It's a course that Derek and I teach, and you can check that out in the link below as well. But what we can go ahead and do here is customize these to talk about the services that we provide. We talk about what we call the three step funnel, which is paid advertising on the front end, lead capture in the funnel format on the middle, and then on the back end, follow up and conversion via email and text message. So you can go ahead and talk about each of these services in these placeholder text boxes. All you need to do is delete what's there and go ahead and start typing in your text. All right, so now our site's looking really good. Let's go ahead and save in the top right corner. Then if we go ahead and click preview, we can actually see what our changes are looking like. This is looking really great. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is add the calendar link so that our clients can book directly on our calendar. I'm a huge advocate of a site called Calendly, which is free to get started with and allows your clients to view your availability and book a call with you directly without needing to have any sort of email exchange. So what you'll do is you go to calendly.com and you'll create an account. Once you have an account, you'll have an event type. So as you create your Calendly account, it's gonna walk you through how to connect your calendar and get everything configured and set up for your event. All we need to do to add this to our website is go ahead and click share. And we'll go to add to website. I like to do inline embed. We'll click continue. And then I like to hide event type details and hide cookie banner. It just looks cleaner and takes up less space on the site. We'll go ahead and copy code. We'll come back to our designer and we'll come up here to pop up where we'll go edit settings. Here under the custom JavaScript HTML, we'll click into it and we'll come to the code editor where we can go ahead and paste in that new Calendly link. We can go ahead and click save. And if we click preview again, we can test that it is our calendar showing up here where we we can go ahead and select our times. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that everything looks good from a sharing perspective on the SEO side. So what we can do is come to our settings and then we will go ahead to our SEO metadata. And this is where we can actually name our website. So we can say PlayStation Agency Website. We can go ahead and describe it. PlayStation Agency is essentially exactly what you have written in your description in the middle of the page. You can add relevant keywords like social media marketing, dentist, small business, SMMA, whatever it is that you wanna do. You'll add your name. And then for social image, I find it's easiest just to use our agency logo. If you wanna create a social image on Canva or something like that, it'll look a lot better, but using your agency logo will definitely get you by to get started. Finally, once all that's done, again, we'll click save. We'll go ahead and back out of this designer. And then all that we need to do to finish is come into our settings. And then we can go ahead and select our domain. And to connect our domain, all we'll need to do is go up to our account settings, to domains and connect it. Once that's done, we've picked our domain. We'll go ahead and save and update settings. And in no time at all, the site will be live. So believe it or not, yes, it really is that fast to create your own SMA website. I really hope that this was helpful and it gets you started and on the way to getting your agency up and off the ground. As always, ask any questions in the comments down below or any challenges that you run into. We're always here to help. It's been awesome getting to know you guys a lot better in the comments over the last couple of videos. So if you have any questions, let us know. And we always love to hear where you guys are at with your agency and if these videos are helping you out. What other questions do you have? Let us know in the comments down below as well. As always, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to tap bell notifications so that you'll be alerted the next time that we post a free piece of content just like this. That's all for now. We'll see you guys in the next video. No